back with a part two video. Um, I actually had to do this part two video. It's, it's on two topics. It's on two subjects. Hello, man. This shit is really itching my crown. But um, just making sure my crown good. But that's what we're going to do to Thanksgiving and appreciation and all these celebrations of life. Uh, so I want to give a deep gratitude to a beautiful great Kemet, um, the ancient system of Kemet overall, Mott. Uh, I want to give a deep gratitude to the oysters. want to give a deep gratitude to me. Thanksgiving to the ancestors, those who are here and benevolent. I want to welcome them to this beautiful great connection with me. I want to welcome the healthy celestial, uh, beautiful great inner light and beings. Um, who also, who also too, um, our ancestors who have, our ancestors who have transitioned into celestial, beautiful, great, and enlightened beings. Um, want to give thanks for their presences too in the council of death. Want to give thanks to beautiful, great, healthy, ancient council of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom. Give great, great to thanks for the chief spirit of wisdom of life. Want to cool the ancient spirit of wisdom into this connection. And I want to cool all the beautiful, great, healthy, and enlightened beings into this connection with me in the celebration of the chief brief of life, spirit of life. Um, continue to communicate with LB, LB always in and out. Um, just a heads up in advance about the service being done. Um, for continuing the, the healing and restore, restoration uh, for the indigenous and aboriginal melanated tribes we are in the score of our uh, healing restoration. Um, but at the same, and then within the same speech, same, same expression of life, it's not just only the tribes being healed, it's also a lot of things of the alignment being healed. Um, what I want to communicate to you and make it very, very practical and very, very honest, um, what you see me have on is actually a crown. You may take it as, for example, a regular headscarf, a headpiece. Um, we have, we know that there are different, you know, different beings who are different pieces. But I want to say to the divine, beautiful, great divine masculine, especially if you are in the priest office of some sort, you know, uh, you may not wear a crown, you may do, you know. I'll, it occurs a lot of masks in the world crown, especially melanated masks. Um, but if you're not wearing a crown, um, I will encourage you and encourage you to go on your devotion and inquire about you wearing a crown. Nine ten, we may. I looked at a YouTube to, to Toronto, and I just you know I looked at it, and from that one day, I really didn't ever go back to the YouTube Toronto, and I just been kind of flowing how it flows. So every crown will have its own unique minor uh maybe unique big if you know that but unique big description distinctiveness in that sense um the benefits of wearing the crown specifically probably speak for mass and even from the movement the bond from the energies um it protects you know it covers our our, our penal gland it covers the third eye whatever and it's a benefit for that now some may say well we don't have to technically do that but we have to understand there are a lot of frequency radioactive ways so it's a very important beneficial and benefactor that we do have head coverings to protect us from certain certain frequencies. Um, I have not yet started to incorporate um, incorporate um, copper into the crown piece yet, um, but I have been incorporating little other minor things like for you can see example, this is actually a pine tree. So even nature element, natural elements, I mean, I said elements, natural elements into the crown. Um, it's a very beneficial, beautiful, great thing about wearing a crown because you can be able to uh, really decipher and you can be able to really discern. And, and wearing a crown help you not to get caught up with the chaos, help you get not caught up with the clatter, um, the noise. And if you didn't wear that, say, for example, for the moment, it's not to say that you, you won't be able to deal with that. You won't be able to be strong and deal with that. Them, them waves, them sound waves, or whatever the case may be, that can channel towards the direction of your, your third or your pentagon and your brain waves. Um, you need to towards your eardrum, you know, your um, your doors, you specifically. I'm um, at your gates, you know, all doors. I want to refer, paraphrase that. So that's important to communicate to the divine master, especially in the priest's office, because first of all, I'm not going to promote this to be fashionable to you. I'm not going to respectfully want to do that personally, um, because I know it's a very trendy thing that when you wear it comes off as a trend. No, like really, there is a seriously respect for that. It's not something that you should really be going around and, and, and looking at it as like it's some type of trendy or some type of fashion it's and in and, 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 and distinction every tribe do have a distinct and specific where you are a crown you know what I'm saying now some people beings may not understand what tribe you're from in the ancient in the ancient reference to say so you may say well i don't know what ain't my ancient tribe hair style or hair piece specifically is or even the clothing wise 
But respectfully, um, get much deep as I said earlier, deep gratitude into the answers. They will all bring that to fruition. So they will they will bring that to attention about unto us about how distinctive they will do certain things, you know, uh, with us individually. So that's a beautiful blessing right there. You know, that's a beautiful blessing to that connection with them and mental gratitude for them. Um, here's another thing. Now I'm going to another transition subject. 919 on that. And uh, 369 on that. And uh, 201 and 101. Uh, 528 on that. I'm saying all these numbers as hers to be honest. So, let me communicate to you about these services. And it's going to, again, as I said, time to the previous video. I was telling the previous video. I don't focus on a lot of, when it comes to channeling and harness your energy, especially when you're doing circles, you can get burned out, like really, really burned out. Um, I would encourage beings to not try to channel your energy in so many different directions. Um, so many different directions from the north to the south to the west to the east. Now, hear me out I do a lot of gritting and what I mean gritting meaning I do a lot of out layer protection I do a lot of layer protections and I don't do layer protection what's up um what's up boogie bogey forgive me I said that I do a lot of gritting and I do a lot of gritting for a reason when you're doing spiritual work energetic work energetic healing whether you're doing it towards yourself first I always start with first self first or you're doing it towards your family members, your bloodline, or you're doing it towards your relationship. If you're in a mating, a mating union, you um, or a compatible sense, and your essence of senses of that. When you're doing this type of work, you have to understand, channeling, allowing your energy to channel so many different directions is literally going to burn you out. Especially when you start to work with the elements. I have to be very specific directly to these specific hostess bodies and respectfully to the chief spirit of life within you, you all when when you start to like send your energy energetic all everywhere it's dangerous it's very very dangerous and i'm saying this and i'm pointing i got five fingers i like to do this analogy a lot five fingers but if i turn my hand sideways what is my thumb doing back at me pointing back at me let me put up another hand i got 10 fingers now now what are my two thumbs are doing double pointing back doing specifically towards me is double pointing back at me which is very important. So I have, I'm sharing my personal these experiences that I have went through. So far by doing work at the site of um, the area that I tell people where I'm at, where you can reach me at, and you can send telepathic messages to me. You can, you can, you can meditate. But I, let me be specific. Don't meditate on on, 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 on unhealthy things towards me. Don't meditate on things that you want me to be seductive and stuff like that. I'm not on that. I'm not on that frequency. Now I'm being upfront 100% because you can beings will meditate on crazy little things like that. Well, they were like, "Yo, I want to meet you," and then all of a sudden they on this they on this seduction frequency vibration, and it's like, "Yo, that's not that's not why I need to meet you." This not shit. Matter of fact, I need to be happy. On my side of the street, I would do my best not to even matter of fact go in such a direction of that. But I cannot respectfully on the other side show somebody else side, whether you're a client or you, uh, you know, say, or you want to be part of the services on that sense of the side of the street, respectfully to speak, by all means, I cannot, I am not seeking to override your will, one, consent on that. Um, two, I am not seeking to disrespect your, 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 your lane, respect to say to that. And I'm not seeking by all means to tell you exactly what to do respectfully to that and another sense of that but by all means in general when it comes to um reaching you can by all means send again you can send a telepath messages there'll be frequency specific channel codes that i will give you and you can reach out to me um that'll be a little bit more you know i won't use that too much on technology on a big big platform i do that more like when we meet face to face because that's how we'll communicate um on that essence of sense um, and then the frequency channel will change up, so it won't always be the same as that frequency. There'll be different frequencies on that that sense of that. And again, this is conversation talk in the fourth dimension, but it's still connected to this presence realm, presence specifically. But it also aligns and correlates with specifically. Uh, what's up, um, Gabriel? It aligns specifically with the fifth dimension. So when it comes, what I have so far experienced with energy is that doing energy work, especially spiritual work, is that having your energy channel different directions is unhealthy. 
you have to harness specifically you have to harness your chi you have to harness your energy you really have to really seriously do that because if you don't channel your energy in one particular area and then when you master that area now and i'm not talking you say well i master the setting of the surrounding of the environment that's cool that's great you mastered some sort of degrees of that but say if you added for example let's use this a live a live run example say if you start doing work at a park a recreational park and you say well the channel is focused on this one particular specific direct area but you must also understand that that area has other extension of areas within the same approximation uh, so what does that communicate to you mean in that just because you master one that area doesn't mean you can't you ain't gonna master them other other them other little sp specifically branches that that are extension of that particular area so what does that tell your spirit is tell you specifically that you cannot get too caught up and say for example you want to go to another place and don't and you have not harnessed you have not mastered specifically the direction area you have not even if it has elements elements connected to it even even if it has water connected to it earth obviously connected to it it has um you know air i mean trees connected to it, obviously which is going to the air so you have to master these beautiful great elements and then as you have channel and master them in your energy field it's now in harmony but let me go a little bit more just a, a little bit more incision cut more deep the specific area that i'm at and this is a real life experience the area that i do service at is matter of fact uh a lake it's a park but it's a lake and it has a dam and in that dam that river it has animals obviously it has fish it has otters it has flamingos it has sea seagulls it has um you know what i'm saying um these 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 things that i have to you know i day-to-day i day-to-day um, day -day interact with i day-to-day -day, you know i meet and sometimes they come vice versa they respectfully come meet me um but i have so far witness these beautiful great wonderful creations of life like me my, myself and in that area i have come to um you know what i'm saying master in a sense self mastery um, but also respectfully proper communication with um with these other existence of life these other existence of chi of life and i give much deep gratitude to the wonderful great higher beings who are highly wonderful great ancient beings specifically who also participate who also is a part of these services that goes forth so one of the another one of the um beautiful i want to i like to use the word animal too often i don't personally like using that too much but i would say one of the great another piece of creation is obviously an animal and it's an alligator and i have a have a real life experience where me and, and i could testify i get a brother to testify even his testimony to this uh, me and this brief and great divine masculine we was privileged I'm gonna say the key word privileged and blessed and protected and highly favored to go into the den layer of specifically the alligator and it's not a it's we have witnessed the feminine of the alligator but the feminine has a child has seeds so it has another alligator which is the seed of the alligator and this lesson has come to me so deeply because it's a difference you can do spiritual work again, going revise, going back to re, re, um, re, revisit. You can do spiritual ball work, small mean again. At such a similar place, or maybe same as that place in a different state, different city, different country. But if you're not being in harmony, if you're not doing services for this, if you're not in a line, because doing in a, doing spiritual service where it's not just again for the mortals, it's not just for human beings. It's all for the, all aspects of creation like it all flows together. So what we have been practically applied, and, I, and again, I don't want to speak to you ever falsely, is that we've been having, just to give people heads up in advance who receive service at a specific location, we have been giving, um, you know what I'm saying, like, free, we have been giving, like, food to this, um, to this existing creation of life. And I remember when we went in there, and it was actually today, earlier today, um, I was blessed to receive, you know, some salt sardines. That was for the for the for the gator man. Sardines. And I don't eat I don't eat fish. I don't I don't eat sardines, none of that stuff. Back in the day I used to eat a lot of sardines back in the day. Um but we was blessed I was blessed to receive this this partake. And as I had this partake can on me with had which had fish in it, 
um, what I was led to do, and I was also in communication with the Divine Masculine, another Divine Masculine, as I said earlier, who was serving too with me, who served alongside with me. Um, we was led to go back into the home of specifically the direct alligator. And we was, and we, I was just told to give this specific beautiful great dear friend, I call him dear friend, uh, dear friends plural, give this dear friend specifically these sardines. Now what we did, obviously we dumped the sardines out of the can and we left it on the ground. You know, we didn't pamper and all that stuff because you know, but this thing is gigantic by all means. One day if you, again, if you get service, if it's led to do it, I will properly um, respect this specific hot that that brief for great as this is being, but also I will bring an offer. Because again, you have to be in harmony, not just with the elements, but also with the other Christians of life. And when I mean harmony, is that you have to also do services for them. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to do service all day for man, for mortals. Oh, I'm going to just focus on doing service all day for me. But you have to balance it out, doing service for all, all services for all. Meaning for the brief for great animals and, uh, well, again, for the brief for great animals on the land, land animals. And also animals in the waters. And also animals in the air. So it's all connected. And that's how... That's why channeling and harness your energy in one in, in, in that in that specific lo, assigned direct location that you are in, you master that level. You master them levels. Now don't rush to herb and get it, master it out and say, okay, I'm ready to go to the next level. No, you master it. It's a difference, it's a different specific divine connection. And divine connections, plural, when you actually just say, you know what? Help me master this particular specifically area and then when it's moments to branch out then you go ahead and find out and do your research and say okay because nine out of ten when you branch out it's going to be a similar connection to what you was previously doing and that's why it's important to not just again just master that one little small, small area but that's the key but it's also good to master the whole entire atmosphere that whole entire environment you know that whole entire environment and reference far as like again if you had a local part that's what the service is being done then you master that whole part you just take your little explorer exploring in moments you go to explore different little parts of the park and don't gradually rush to explore it because this is a relationship this is a harmonizing you are harmonizing you are being in harmony with all these other existence of life and you're not focusing again you're not you're not trying to hurt and rush the harmony you're gradually pacing and you're gradually connecting. Because everything will be a lesson. Don't get me wrong. It will be a lesson. It will be a blessing. But everything will be a gradual connection. So the two made the revisit what we talked about in the sat saying gather with you all. And I'm so grateful. And again, if you come to Tampa, Florida, you'll get to hang out with me. You'll still be, you know, I mean, hang out. Let me be clear, because I'll still be doing services. I won't be going around the city all in Tampa, like, hey, I'm going to take you this break. No, you'll be respectfully seeing the lifestyle. Let me be clear about hanging out. You'll respectfully see the lifestyle. You'll see the daily motion. You'll see the daily, if it's meant to be revealed, because sometimes I'm not going to say it's always meant to be revealed. You may not be, it may not be revealed. You may just, may just sit down. You may just be meditating a lot with me. Whatever, whatever the guys, whatever the higher up say, hey, this is what it's supposed to be. I respect what they, what the call is, because I don't want to jump out and do things that I want to do. But if this real ball man has been very helpful, just for a brief, they want to go in depth, but just for a brief, for you, a little nugget, something you can, uh, uh, something nutrition you can receive inside your soul, soul nutrition. That's why I call it soul nutrition, for understanding how to properly apply, how to. You know connect and how to utilize efficiently speaking fundamentally practically speaking connections in that one area because nine out of ten if you are meant to go to another area nine out of ten beans going to come first but nine out of ten they're going to come to your area and then gradually the word will get out and then if you're assigned somebody say you know the, the ancient god say hey we're going to go back because you got to have a member a home base because you can travel and do all that, but you still got to come back to the essence of you got to have a home base. Your energy is going to have a home base. So don't go, go in a mindset like, oh, to this mindset, oh, I'm going to go live somewhere and I'm done with that service over there. No, that's how I actually, man, to be honest with you, that's how I was thinking at one point. 
But the spirit told me, the chief spirit light said, no, don't, don't, don't go into that direction of the motion of that. Because although you may travel and visit other different lands and even out of the country and whatever the case may be, you still gonna have to come back to the home base. Because then we also be clear with you about something. Just because you was there, there's gonna be beings who gonna come who also gonna be laborers, specifically, the laborers who are going, now I mean labor, I don't mean slaves. Now I don't take that word labor as going to the direction of slaves. But they're gonna be laborers who are going to, yes, apply the things, and you're gonna to have to actually tell the truth. You're gonna to have to actually cultivate them. You're gonna to have to nourish them because they're gonna to have to have this understanding so that when you go visit, you're assigned to go call visit, and then you come back, maybe, maybe, maybe going for a month, maybe a couple of weeks. I don't know about a full year, to be honest, but maybe whatever. But when you come back, you know how things are gonna be because they harmonize. And it goes deeper than that. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna go in depth. Cause it, it does go with you know what I'm saying um it goes to, it does go with Ricky Ricky you know what I'm saying China and Ricky you no know, long distance Ricky and stuff like that but um respectfully and in, in general we'll just keep it in the basics we'll keep it at the kind of a simple 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 base don't want to complicate things you know but again if this has been very very helpful just for the brief I thank y'all so much I want to, this is what came to my spirit before I end these videos, um, I, I'm grateful, it was actually two, two videos done in one night, um, and again, it's not, I don't take no credit, but it's very practical and fundamental and clear, but again, come to Temple Terrace, I mean, that's the area I'm at right now, present speaking of presence, um, I, mean, I am in the state of Florida, I'm in Tampa, Florida, specifically, Hillsborough County, specifically, come, come and get your service, don't hesitate. Come get restored. There are there is reconciliation services to deeply again inner heal um, from past syndromes, whether memories, patterns, remarks, you know, hold on bondages. Come get your services. And again, it will be a fee, but know that your fee will be a blessing because you will be able to have the product that you need for your services. We'll be able to go get that. You'll have some beautiful incense. And again, you'll be invited to some beautiful, peaceful waters. So I give gratitude. I give thanks. Um, tomorrow will be so I got to see the Ashman after. Well, I did, I did, I did charge the waters um, today. But um, there'll be more great service. I, I'm not going to tell you when the next time you see me making videos. I'm not going to say, give you a time and a date and stuff like that. I ain't going to set you up. No, I ain't going to do that. You'll just respectfully, um, you'll just, you'll, you'll assist me. Again, it will be a different communication and stuff. But I thank you all. Um, I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write a little short, simple description for this video. And um, thank you again. I'm happy that you've been so nourished and in your soul and spirit. And it's a blessing, honor, sir. This is me, Sachi Chinaki. Much gratitude to everything that was acknowledged in the entry. And I'm looking forward for more, more, more higher, better acknowledgement through this existence overall. And I say, I say, namaste. Namaste. Namaste to y'all. Namaste. But yeah, when I talk more about the crime videos. I won't go in depth about that either. Just a little bit brief talk here for talk to you, communicate to you about that. And um, thank y'all so much. Much love. Gratitude. Thanks again. Bye bye.